Hello and welcome to My Retro Watches. My name is Mike and this is my welcome back video. As some of you may know, I had a real big problem in my workshop here where it actually got flooded with raw sewage, would you believe? Uh, it was a bit of a disaster at the time and uh, it's taken four weeks to get to the other side of it through insurance and redecorating and buying new things. Fortunately, uh, from my watch point of view, I didn't lose, lose too much stuff. I lost my bench and a few of the bits and pieces, but most of the stuff was off the ground. So fortunately, it was saved. So uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to just say thank you to anybody that's messaged me uh, offering support and, and just wishing me well, really, through all of that. Uh, it was very good. Uh, nice uh, of you to do that, of course. Uh, but now I'm going to be back bigger and better than ever. As you can see, I've bought myself a new but it's not a new, it's a reproduction second-hand antique roll-top desk to do all my work on. I've fitted some better light and I've laid out things a little bit better as well. Uh, so I think on this little video here, it's just a quick one just to say I'm back. Um, but I'll just do a quick, um, I'll take you around the, the, the bench here if, if you like and I'll show you what I've got. It's like moving house for the first time. So you, you move in and you put all your stuff everywhere and uh, it's probably not going to be where it is this time next week as I start making a mess and uh, my orderly system goes flying out the window. Uh, so what have I got planned as well? Well, I've got quite a few videos in the pipeline. Uh, I've got some more Seikos to do, would you believe? But then, you know, I do like my Seikos. I've got a couple of Swiss watches that I want to do as well. Uh, just the usual, really, just break them down, give them a clean and rebuild them and show you how to do all that uh, or how I do it and take you on that journey with me. So uh, stay tuned, uh, there will be, like I say, lots of videos coming as soon as I get around to trying to film them. I've also got a bit of a backlog at the moment of other people's work. Some people do send me watches from time to time. So I want to get those out of the way and then I can start filming in, in, in earnest. So uh, I will now cut to the bench and I'll sort of take you on a little tour. Uh, it will be just me holding my camera, so it might be a bit juddery. Uh, so bear with me on that one, please. Uh, and maybe you find it interesting, maybe you don't. Uh, give me a like if you like the video, of course, and leave plenty of comments down below. Uh, I'll answer any questions. I do read them all, as you possibly know. And uh, let's take you on the tour. Okay, here we are, and I'll first of all show you what's making the very, very loud tick in the background, and that is this nice uh, Seiko uh, clock. Uh, it's really, really retro, really, really cool. And it was donated to me, actually. It was given to me by a guy called Nick West, who's a, a friend from various Facebook groups. Uh, very, very generous of him. Um, didn't need to do that. He just thought that this would look better in my collection than his. And of course, he's quite right. Uh, my wife, uh, she didn't allow me to have this in the house. Uh, it's just far too loud for her. Uh, so it was relegated in here. Often uh, this was in the background of my old videos, but I always took the battery out because I just figured the ticking was far too loud. Um, anyway, so that's just a little bit uh, about the clock. So you will hear it in the background, of course. Uh, this is one of the shelves I've got here. I've just got some oilers on there. And I've got a movement holder, a balance uh, holder, my auto oiler, my little um, guard to, to, to pull the hands off um, watches down on the bench itself. Um, of course, I use A and F screwdrivers. I, I haven't been able to afford the version set so far that it's night and day. Uh, these AF are from Switzerland, and to be fair, they are pretty good. I've never had any problems with them. Um, on the desk, we've got some work in progress as well, which I'll show you in a moment. So I use this anti-static, anti-slip mat, uh, which most watchmakers use. Of course, I've got a watchmaker's cushion, some tweezers, uh, the Bergeon uh, 4040 standard movement holder. Absolute must, these things. Uh, one of my ultrasonic cleaner baskets, some screwdrivers. Uh, the whole set, now these are, these are actually somebody else's watches that I'm working on at the moment. And his name is Razvan, and I'm sure he'll be watching. And he's got the full house of the Seiko Digital uh, 0634s. These were the first, were the world's first chronometer. And he's got all of them. Uh, I'm just doing various little bits on them to keep them going. Uh, so if we just pan down the desk here a little bit. Uh, that's a project. I don't need to show you that just yet. Uh, these are pretty cool. This is from Cousins typically, and it's a battery uh, guide. 
So if you've got a battery for a watch and you don't know which one it is, you just use it on here, push it through to find the right size and it'll tell you which one that you need to buy. I've got a recent, um, another very loud ticking um, pocket watch here. My, my father gave me the other day. He's not too sure where this has come from. Uh, so it's found its home here. Next shelf down, watchmaker's paper, absolutely critical, of course, a blower. I have various coins uh, for opening Seiko digital case backs. I have a, a crystal list here, um, which I've not actually used yet. I've only just acquired that from uh, Simon Coop, who sent me that. Uh, two watch uh, presses, uh, some of my oils, which I've just kept in this container for the time being. Uh, the round trays that I always talk about. So uh, these are actually got some projects in them right now. This one is, if anyone followed me on Instagram, they might remember me talking about a rat watch. Uh, this is an old uh, Seiko Advan that I got as parts and I decided to try and get it to work. And you can see the dial there is pretty toast. So I was gonna call it my rat watch uh, because it was gonna be fully serviced and uh, working well, but looking absolutely awful. Uh, I've had to pull it all apart again, uh, and it will be going back into the cleaner probably tonight, actually. Uh, this is another Seiko, which I'm working on uh, for a friend of mine at the moment. Um, most of it isn't in here. It's just the screws and the dial, because the rest of it is actually inside these baskets here, which is part of my um, Brenray uh, watch cleaning machine, which I will show you uh, shortly. Uh, over to this side of the bench. I've managed to put my timographer up here and the actual listening part, the microphone part down here. Uh, it's kind of good like that, I thought. My demagnetizer, of course, my scope, which is uh, my AM scope. Uh, I only ever really have it on uh, times 20. Absolutely wonderful piece of kit, this has to be said. Uh, just back up here, uh, I've got a couple of loops, a packet of uh, assorted screws uh, that I've collected. Uh, these I'll put onto my glasses so that I can see what I'm doing sometimes. Uh, over here is nothing special at the moment. Uh, a couple of digital watches and a G clamp. <laughs> uh, these are the little jars I tend to keep some alcohol in and my um, essence of Renata. Uh, a cigarette lighter, I don't smoke, but there's always one handy just in case I need it. Uh, the drawers are just full of rubbish at the moment. So this drawer is actually full of various projects, either completed or about to be completed or even some of these might be making the channel as well next door down uh, just assorted bits and pieces really oops i pulled the drawer out too far so um, we've got various watch straps here ready for for use the um, thermal tape that i might need next drawer again is my vernier some batteries and my multimeter of course sorry my finger was in the way there bottom drawer hasn't got much in at all at the moment it has got a files for all my service manuals for the Seikos and we'll go over this side <laughs> I'll be surprised if any of you are still watching but if you are hey ho uh, this is a, a bit of a eclectic drawer of uh, old oilers some various tweezers uh, more baskets um, the fiber pens that I use for uh, circuit boards on the on the digital watches a couple of pin vices are in there somewhere uh, over here is various pairs of tweezers some watch case openers uh, and at the bottom I've got actually it's probably worth showing you one or two of these I've got some old dental tools and these are really really useful certainly for trying to clean certain things like this one for instance uh, if you're doing digital watches or watches with pushers, uh, the, behind the pushers, even on a crown actually, on a normal watch, it gets a lot of DNA and these help to scrape that out before I uh, put it in the cleaning machine. At the back there, just various drills. Uh, we've got some more oil and these are the, the, the fluids really I use for looming with or the binding agents for the loom. Of course, some uh, Rodico there. A makeup dust brush because you know I need to do my makeup <laughs> uh, more parts in this one okay plenty of empty containers but we've got a few bits and pieces uh, in here's all my spring bars and here we've got lots of Seiko balances 
uh, some of these are good a lot of these aren't so good and need some work doing to them I'm just starting on my balance uh, work so um, that's very much uh, for practice really and we've got some gasket seals at the back there that some little ones for crowns uh, next draw more parts so again these are lots of Seiko movements that are all scraps which are just there for uh, uh, harvesting parts in here I've got um, watch um, gaskets and I've got some um, stems and bits and pieces like that and then the bottom drawer is absolutely laden full of either projects for me projects for other people uh, there's a lot of spares in here again so I have a lot of these for instance there's a couple there for me this is an Omega uh, um, quartz and there's a Seamaster in there as well for somebody else uh, two more little projects at the end and as you can see there's plenty more going on down at the bottom of the, the drawer there uh, just over this side will be where my abrasive station is so I've got my little machine there polishing machine I did lose my hand polishing tool uh, in the flood so I've got to buy a new one of those um, which I will do very shortly and then kind of lastly really uh, the ultrasonic cleaner uh, right next to the Bremray uh, cleaner machine now this is a brilliant brilliant piece of kit really highly recommend it we've got various we've got a cleaning fluids and we've got some rinsing fluids and a heater there to dry it out uh, it's pretty old-fashioned uh, but it was it was reconditioned by a guy called Simon Wilkinson who sold it to me and uh, he did a really good job of it and it's now become my main tool uh, for all my cleaning work really I do a bit of pre-cleaning first and then I I run it all through here it's fantastic uh, so really that is kind of it the one other thing I suppose I could show you is what is in here which again is crazy there's probably about five six kilos worth of various watches in there digital watches uh, some quartz watches there'll be some mechanical ones in there too uh, these have come really through job lots of stuff that I've bought that I don't really need and they all get thrown in here uh, ready to either be fixed uh, and sold or to harvest more and more parts from so that's it really guys I didn't want to go on the video for too long so uh, that's a little brief description of my desk you can kind of see it there I'm really enjoying sitting here at the moment it's uh, you know it's a whole new world to step up as far as I'm concerned to where I need to be and um, I'm really looking forward to bringing you more and more videos uh, at this at this desk so once again, thanks very much for watching. If you've made it to the end, brilliant. <laughs> and I will catch you very soon in the next uh, video. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, please, because the subscriptions really do help me. And, uh, and comment as well, of course, because uh, that's really important because we can communicate with each other. Um, if you want to, join the Facebook group, which is Retro Vintage Watches and Restorations, which is the link is below. If you're mad about Seikos, just like I am, then also I'm an admin for uh, Seiko Passion. Uh, which is another Facebook group and of course Seiko Passion is huge it's, it's I think we're at 18,000 members now uh, which is absolutely incredible so you know definitely check out that group as well if you're into Seikos and you're onto Facebook watch groups on Facebook are really good fun so hopefully I'll see you very soon in a video thank you